Hey guys, it's Nadia from Leah D Designs and today we have another washi tape video. You guys seem to really enjoy this coaster here and so I wanted to create another design for you. So we're going to make these flower designs and they're going to be kind of a stained glass style because they're going to be going on clear resin. So I have my sketch here and I also have these coaster molds, which I have already poured in a thin layer of resin and I've let that cure. So that is what we're going to be adding our design to. This is a light table that I have um, underneath my paper here. It just lets me see through the paper a little bit easier for this process. If you don't have a light table, you can just use, uh, actually when I was a teenager, I used to just I had a glass table and then I just put a lamp under it and, sh you know, would shine the lamp through the glass and that worked just as well. And we have two different styles of washi tape today. So a purple and a more of a green and pink style. All right. So what we'll need to do is we're going to, I just want to show you quickly that I made the sketch and as you can see, you can see through it very easily with the white, the light table. We're going to be using a Sharpie marker. And the washi tape that I'm using for this is actually a little bit different than the washi tape that I used for the first style because this one actually has a paper backing. So it allows you to not have to stick the washi tape down right away, which is going to be to our benefit for this technique. So um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing our washi tape over the design, the sketch that we have, and then I'm just going to be tracing out each individual petal with my Sharpie. I don't need to be 100% perfect with this because we will be outlining this after we stick it on to the coaster, but we just want to get the overall shape that we're looking for. And I'll just demonstrate here that we're going to be cutting out the shape with our scissors. And then we'll just double check it to make sure that it fits in the spot and it does. So we have one petal done. So we will be doing this with all of the rest of the petals and then we'll be using the green one for the, um, the leaves on the bottom as well. So we'll move into a time lapse so you guys can watch as I do this and uh, we'll see you on the other side.
right, so we have all of the pieces for our flower and we can now stick them onto our coaster. So um, I tried to keep them in the right order here. So we'll just peel the back off and we put our light table, our coaster back over our sketch so that we can place it. And basically it's as easy as just sticking them in place. So we will do that with all of them and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so we are all set with our washi tape. Everything has been put in place and now we need to add our details. I'm going to be using this Serenade Relief in gold as my outliner and as you can see on this pink version, this is what we want our flower to look like. So I'm going to be using this to uh, create my outlines. If you don't have this product or you're not familiar with it, um, I do have options for it as well and I'll link that above. Oh, and also at the end of the video that you can um, see one of my previous videos that I've explained the options for this product here. And all we're going to be doing is basically tracing the outline. You could use the light table for this process as well if you like to. Um, I don't actually feel the need to because I can kind of see the edges of where the washi tape is. But again, you could definitely use the light table for this part of the process as well. So. Again, we'll go into another time lapse. And once again, I just want to mention that if you are looking for options, if you can't find this particular product or you just want something that's either less expensive or more available in your area, uh, again, I'll link the, um, of, you know, my previous videos where I've given a very lengthy explanation of the options for some, for this type of product here. So we will move into a time lapse and we'll see you in the side. Okay, so the next step is going to be adding some glitter because you guys know I need to have glitter on all of my pieces. So I have this Let's Resin Pearl uh, Purple, pearlescent purple glitter, and of course my gloss varnish that I'm using to um, just, you know, adhere our glitter to the coaster. I could do this during a pour, but um, I feel that I can just do it at this point since we're waiting for the outliner to dry anyway that we can just add our glitter and this way we have control that it's not going to spread more than we want it to. So again, it's just uh, any type of gloss varnish would work as long as it dries completely clear. Um, it's not going to be much of an issue. So we'll get this finished up here and then we will let it dry for a few hours. And once we're all set with that, we can move on to doing our top coat.
so we're ready to add our top coat. It's been a few hours and our varnish and our outliner has dried. So we'll go ahead and we're going to pour uh, some clear resin on top for each of the coasters. And then we'll use our heat gun to get all the bubbles up. And then we'll let this set overnight to dry. It's the next morning and we're ready to unmold. So we'll go ahead and do that. These extra little pieces off and look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. So um, I love the iridescent glitter on this piece as well, just because it matches so well with the washi tape. And I just love the little bits of, of um, golden foil in the washi tape, which just reflects so beautifully um, with the coasters. So love how these turned out and you can see the back it just has a bit of a pattern as well and we're all set i hope you guys like this tutorial another great way to uh, use washi tape on your coasters and you know cover flaws if you have any but uh, if you like this video don't forget to leave me a comment like and subscribe and share with your friends if you know anybody who could use this technique thank you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye